Hello dear children and good day to all of you. I hope you all are doing good. Welcome to Siro Malabar Catechism classes. I know you all are happy and excited right as we are going to start with our next lesson. That is lesson number 6. Jesus who prays. But before we start children, let us all stand up, join our hands, close our eyes and say a small prayer. So repeat after me children. Bless us Father as we offer today all that we think, do and say and fill our minds with your love as we begin our class today. Amen. So children, do you remember what we learned in the previous class? Do you remember? Come on, think. Yes, we learned about Jesus who goes to the temple, right? Temple meaning the church. Okay? Church is where God dwells. So let me ask you something. Do you all go to church? Do you? Yes, you do, right? You go to the church with your parents. You go to attend the mass. Right, children? Yes, very good. You know, Jesus was deeply rooted in prayer and God's love. Yes, children, Jesus was deeply rooted in prayer. And he loved praying to God his Father silently. Okay, so in today's lesson, we will learn more about Jesus who prays to his Father Almighty. So children, let me ask you something now. What is prayer? When I say prayer, what comes to your mind? What do you think of? Yes, come on, tell me. Love is prayer. Loving Jesus is prayer. Is it? Yes. Talking to Jesus, having a conversation with Jesus is prayer. Yes, children. Talking to Jesus is prayer. You can talk to Jesus about anything and everything and at any time you wish to. Yes, being with Jesus is also prayer. Yes, dear children, talking to Jesus, spending time with Jesus, being with Jesus is all prayer. You know what, dear children? Jesus is always waiting to talk to you. Yes, Jesus is waiting to talk to you with his arms open and ears open to listen to you. Okay? And why is Jesus waiting to listen to you? Come on, tell me. Because you all are the special friends of Jesus. Yes, children. You all are the special friends of Jesus. We learned about this in the previous class, right? Do you remember? Yes, I know you all remember, right? Jesus is waiting to talk to you, have a conversation with you because you all are the special friends of Jesus. 
So praising Jesus, thanking Jesus for all the blessings he has showered upon you is all prayer. Let me tell you something children. Do you know during the time when Jesus was on earth, he used to pray a lot. You know, because Jesus knew that only praying would keep him close to his Father Almighty. Yes, my dear little children, Jesus used to pray a lot. You know, sometimes Jesus would pray with others like his disciples or other times all alone. You know, Jesus would go to a lonely and silent place where there is nobody around, like on a hilltop, where Jesus is all alone. He would sit down, kneel and pray to his Father Almighty. Yes, children, Jesus would be all alone and pray to his Father, talk to his Father in prayer and silence. When Jesus would pray, Jesus would pray for all sort of things. Like Jesus would pray for his disciples, for all those who are sick and are in need of healing. Jesus would pray for little children like you. Yes, Jesus would pray for little children like you and for all God's creation. Yes, my dear children, Jesus would pray for you and for me too. Jesus would ask his Father Almighty to protect us and watch over us always because Jesus loves us all. Okay, children? Yes. So from this, what do we learn? Through the way that Jesus would pray, we can learn that prayer can be very simple. You should just have faith. Right, children? You can sit in a lonely and quiet place and even have a conversation with Jesus. Talk to Jesus in simple ways that you can. Yes, Jesus is waiting to talk to you and listen to you. Okay, children? So will you pray to Jesus? Yes? Yeah, I can hear you all saying yes. Very good. The way Jesus answers our prayers might be different, children, from what we expect. Yes, children, it can be different. Like, for example, you may pray that Jesus, please give me a, this particular gift. Say, for example, a nice dress tomorrow. But tomorrow you unfortunately do not receive that gift. So what do you do? You become sad, right? Yes. But children, do not be sad, okay? Jesus knows when to give you what gift. Jesus knows what is good for you. You will definitely receive that gift, children. But maybe not tomorrow. Okay? So Jesus knows what is good for you. Because Jesus loves you, right? You are all Jesus' special friends. Jesus loves you. So he will give you all that you ask for in the right time. Because Jesus knows the best for you. Okay, children? So you should always trust in his plan and never ever lose hope. Okay? So will you trust in the plan of Jesus? Will you always keep praying? and thanking Jesus and never be sad. Always be happy with a smiling face. So children, the next time when you're happy or sad or worried or angry about something, talk to Jesus. Okay? Jesus will help you out. You just have to talk to Jesus. You can share any of your feelings. 
you have a sorrow you need help talk to jesus you're happy why because you have received a blessing say thank you jesus for your happiness yes children so you can talk about anything to jesus share your happiness your love share your sorrow and ask jesus for help if you require something jesus is always waiting to listen to you and talk to you children as i've told you earlier jesus is waiting with his arms open ears wide open to listen to you to talk to you all that you have to do is talk to jesus openly about anything and everything you want to every time you're sad every time you need help every time you're happy always you can always talk to jesus children he's always waiting to listen to you okay so the next time you're happy or sad you will always talk to jesus because you all are the special friends of jesus okay so this kind of praising and sharing your feelings your happiness your joy is called prayer sharing and talking to jesus is prayer now children it's time for some fun let us learn an action song yes so are you all ready to learn an action song now okay let us begin children now let us all learn a prayer so stand up 
join your hands and repeat after me okay okay thank you god praise you god glory be to you god let us say it once again okay thank you god praise you god glory be to you god amen very good children i will teach you one more prayer a short prayer which you can say any time of the day you wish to like in the morning when you wake up or before you start studying or even before going to bed okay children you should say this prayer daily at least 3 times will you do it yes let us learn that prayer now so join your hands again and repeat after me i love you and thank you jesus i love you and thank you jesus very good children so you should say this prayer at least 3 times a day so children with this we come to an end of our class today i hope you all enjoyed today's class and learned about the prayer for life of jesus okay so we will have a continuation of this class in the next lesson until then god bless you and bye bye